हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैप्टन चंदन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम अपलोडिंग अ वीडियो ड्यू टू माय पर्सनल रीजन नाउ आई एम स्टार्टिंग न्यू सीरीज ऑफ रेडियो नेविगेशन फॉर सीपीएल एंड एटीपीएल एग्जाम द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ जनरल नेविगेशन ट्रेनिंग वाज अ ट्रेमेंडस सक्सेसफुल मेनी ऑफ माई व्यूअर्स मैसेज मी बिकॉज ऑफ माई वीडियो दे आर एबल टू क्लियर देयर डी एग्जाम दैट मीन अलॉट एंड इट इज माई स्ट्रेंथ Thank you. So the first chapter is a uh, radio wave. A radio wave is very very simple. They are used in uh, radio station, television, navigation system, ATC, mobile phone and even a uh, remote control toys. So the definition is radio wave. If the source of AC current passes to a wire, then this will give a oscillating current. will set up in the wire then there will be a two field electrical and magnetic field together they will be called electromagnetic wave or radio wave the electrical and magnetic field change or oscillate in a plane that perpendicular to a direction of propagation of the radio wave and also electric and magnetic field are also perpendicular to each other it means electrical field magnetic field and radio wave propagation are perpendicular to each other radio wave propagation means radio wave travel from one point to other point the radio wave is an alternating wave form here some definition cycle a complete sequence of positive and negative value so in this diagram starting from a the upper wave is positive side and the lower wave is negative side so one positive and one negative are called complete set of one cycle velocity the speed and direction of movement through a given medium called velocity frequency number of cycle per second denoted by a symbol f and usually express as hertz hz meaning how many a complete set of cycle passes in one second call frequency example 1 hertz is one cycle per second means in one second only one cycle passes wavelength physical distance traveled by the radio wave in one complete cycle is called wavelength you can see in the diagram amplitude the maximum height of wave this can be positive or negative the positive amplitude is represented by p look the diagram the positive wave is uh, called crest and the negative is trough the speed of radio wave is same as speed of light that is all the value are same just remember all the point because dgca can ask any of them properties of radio wave they consist of oscillating electric and magnetic field that are at right angle to each other and at right angle to the direction of propagation we discussed already so the electrical field magnetical field and radio wave propagation are at right angle that is 90 degree to each other they required no supporting medium this means that electromagnetic wave or you can say radio wave can travel not only through air and solid material but also through the vacuum of space radio wave can be reflected refracted diffracted for example reflected wave is called an echo if you are even shouted in a tunnel you might have heard your voice coming back to you this is an echo refraction wave refraction wave the change in direction of a wave passing from one medium to another caused by change in speed that is called refraction wave diffraction bending of wave around the corner of obstacle called 
diffraction you can see all example in both diagram radio wave tend to be reflected by object larger that about half their wavelength at high frequency most of struggle will cause reflection or absorption lower frequency wave will curve around the small obstacle called diffraction they can be passed through an uh, opaque object such as building all through they do suffer alternation A speed varies depending on density of medium they are traveling through the faster in less dense medium radio wave are subject to interference and doppler effect you can see in both picture interference is very common in day to day life like while talking on phone sometime is difficult to hear other person voice it is because of interference second example in older am radio the sound of upcoming wave have a lots of interference especially in bad weather Doppler effect is very simple. When a police car cross you, the siren pitch is very high due to increase in frequency. But when the car going away from you, the siren sound pitch is low because of low frequency. This phenomena are called Doppler effect. Relation between frequency, wavelength, and velocity. Formula is speed of radio wave equals frequency times wavelength. C is the speed of radio wave in meter per second. F is frequency in hertz, hz. Wavelength is lambda, and unit is used meter. So remember, uh, kilo, mega, giga. It's all unit which is used in frequency. Example, one uh, thousand hertz equal one kilo hertz, or you can write one khz. this type of numerical are uh, important for dc exam simply apply formula uh, remember the higher the frequency the shorter the wavelength and vice versa here if the frequency increase then wavelength will decrease because speed of sound wave is constant and vice versa phase difference the two wave are said to be in phase the wave passes the same point of their cycle at the same time this is the example of zero phase different the two wave is starting at same time in same direction so both have a zero phase difference in second example both wave have 90 degree phase difference and in third example phase difference is 180 degree polarized wave when ac current apply to a aerial the two component are electrical and magnetic both travel at right angle that is 90 degree to each other a wave is vertical polarized when the electrical component e travel in a vertical plane and it associate magnetic component h in the horizontal plane horizontal polarized a wave is horizontal pol polarized when the electrical component e travel in horizontal plane and magnetic component h uh, in a vertical plane so here the example of bull polarized wave to receive a maximum signal strength from an incoming radio wave it is essential to receive aerial in the same plane as a polarization wave so a vertical polarized radio wave would required a vertical antenna very important for dc exam it is very simple if you, if you propagate horizontal polarized signal so you need a horizontal antenna to receive that uh, signal and vice versa if it is a uh, vertical then you need a vertical polarized uh, antenna vertical polarized radio wave have a more range because of late attenuation by earth circular polarization can be produced in a variety of ways one of which is using helical antenna helical antenna is important for dc exam sometime they ask a question that uh, example of uh, circular polarization wave used in mobile systems such as cellular phone and satellite communication and navigation system also in radar so both are example of uh, circular polarize and the name of antenna is helical antenna remember that one frequency band 
Kindly remember this chart for DC exam. Example VLF, very low frequency. The frequency range is 3 to 30 kilohertz. So remember these things. So this is end of radio. Hope you understand this well. Uh, best of luck your upcoming DGC exam. Thank you.